That's Rayleigh's voice this whole time? Am I the only one that just discovered that? Has that been known? Or was he just like that close in the inflections of the fr Wow, that was crazy! Maybe it's because the amount of times I've rewatched the openings, but that was Rayleigh's voice. That was his voice. Hello and welcome back to Willow the Scry. This is Kirk D. Cam, and we are jumping into episode 969. The last episode was so cool. We got to see them reach Raftel, also now known as Laftail. And I, I thought that moment at the end, that last five minutes of the last episode was so great that I actually shared it with, with Scryerman, who is my partner on this channel. He's only watched up through Jaya. I strategically framed it so he wasn't seeing anything that was, you know, a quote unquote spoiler, obviously, besides the fact that he saw Roger. Like he has no idea who the rest of the crew is. And if you want to go check that out, it was an awesome video. It was actually our biggest video to date, but you can find that in the description over there. But let's not waste any more time. I am ready to jump in. I am Kirk D. Cam, and this is Will of the Scry. So I'm still looking for where the great weapon is on this ship, because we know it's on there somewhere. Roger. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I like that really has the same scar as Zoro, except his eyes open. <laughs> oh, they came back. So they literally just like dropped him off at daycare and went to the, to the last island for the treasure and then came right back. Oh, what was that egg? What was that egg? Was that the great weapon? Oh, Mary Jo is. That's Rayleigh's voice this whole time? Am I the only one that just discovered that? Has that been known? Or was he just like that close in the inflections of the fr Wow, that was crazy. Maybe it's because the amount of times I've rewatched the openings, but that was Rayleigh's voice. That was his voice. Holy. That, I wonder if that's subtle or if everyone's noticing that. Or again, if I'm just behind the times. Oh, they're shaky. The golden lion. Oh, those waves are beautifully animated. Dang, just claimed it like that. Ah. Dang. I'm surprised they didn't all see it coming. I guess revisionist history, right? We all know that, but they probably didn't in the thick of things. Oh my god, we're gonna learn something here, aren't we? Sheer Hoshi. Yep. Another. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another one. Wait, so there's there's a another Shirohoshi? What is that egg? Stop, are they talking about Luffy? Well, you talk about Ace. Holy shit, they're talking about Luffy. Ooh, is he intertwined with the great weapons? 
It's a great weapon. Like one of those, you know, people say like Luffy's like biggest power is the way to like bring people in and and drag them onto his team and all that good stuff. You know, motivation leader. I might be way reaching here, but so he just got off at a random. I wonder if this is Lobe Town. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so Odin's returning to Wano. Clearly. Whoa. Is is Luffy Joy Boy? Boy <laughs> just throwing shit out. What do you mean until he comes one day? We know that the straw hat is centuries old because of Emu. Who I'm fascinated with. And this has been passed down since. <laughs> David Crocus, aw. The story is about Odin for the most part, after all. Momonosuke and Hiori. Our clothes are tattered just like the other samurai. Aw. Why did she want to go to the land of Wano again? She just liked the way they did things or something like that? So now, is it, how is he going to react when he sees Lanawano in the state we know it's in? Factories. Yep. I mean, there is a reason that Kaido is taking up residence here. Like, this place is deeper than your average place, clearly. Kaido. Oh, shizzles. Oh, my God. His anger. Oof. Oof. Feeling. I hope he doesn't get killed by Kaido, and that's what happens here. <sighs> oh, my God, I have a feeling. This is how we're going to see Odin die. Jeez. Wow. A lot of things revealed in that episode. I think the thing that blew my mind the most, though, was Rayleigh being the one to recite the classic One Piece opening. Wealth. Power. Fame. But it, it seems like the next episode, or maybe two, are really going to be about finishing out Odin's story. Um, which I am looking forward to, but I have a... Sneaking suspicion in my heart, or lack thereof, the hole that is currently building up for what the the inevitable um, that this might be the end of him as well. Looking slash not looking forward to that, but as always, a great episode of One Piece. Thank you for tuning in. I am Kirk D. Cam, and this is Little Scry.